All right, everybody, so I haven't posted in a while, um, but what I've decided to do is just because I can't get any content, um, I'm gonna do some shark fishing. But before I wander through that, let's give you a little bit of backstory. So um, I had a little um, pretty solid video cooked up. It was like 40 minutes long. I did a bit of shark fishing and caught quite a few good things. I'll put them up. up. Jeez, I'll put them up on the screen right now. So one of them was 1.8 meters long. The other one was around 1.3. And um, yeah, there were a couple of good lemon sharks and a few little tiny black tips. So yeah, it was like a 40 something minute fight. And then I had all this beautiful video cooked up and the day before release, I lost all my footage. So I think I about six months of fish photos and uh, yeah, all the footage of that trip. So yeah, anyways, let's see what we've got cooked up for today. Right, so before I get into the video, I'll just show you the setup that I'm using. Um, so I've got a, for the rod, Daiwa beef stick, five, uh, five foot six, extra heavy. Um, so it is a 15 to 24 kilo rod. Penn Senator 4 o reel, spooled up with probably 200 meters or 300 meters of 50 pound um, mono. And then I've got under that, just as a bit of backing, some old 20 pound. Uh, leader, I'm running 100 pound Black Magic Supple. I've got on the, uh, the rig 210 kilogram swivels. Uh, way overkill, but I thought I'd make sure I had some strong ones. And then I've got on the loop swivel running off the leader here, a little uh, piece of pool noodle. And then down to a 150 pound wire trace, a size one crimp, roughly meter, maybe meter and 30 centimeters of that trace down to another um, size one crimp. Uh, don't worry about the um, nylon. Yeah. That's because I've already caught a few sharks on this rig. And then a 10-0 mustad circle hook that if you can see, I've actually uh, cut the barb off. So yeah, just so it makes the unhooking easier. Yeah, so that's it. I'll get into the how I make these rigs and then we'll get out fishing. All right, so starting off with the swivels that I'm tying to this 50 pound trace, I've got 210 kilo swivels um, that are just looped. Very excessive, but they look nice. And they were the same price as the other ones, so I thought I'd get the big swivels just to make sure. So yeah, I'll tie this on, and then um, let me just, that part there is the part that actually goes onto the trace. And this swivel is to put the float off. So yeah, give me a moment and I'll get that tied up. All right, now for the wire that's connected to the swivel, I've got a 1.5 crimp and some 150 pound uh, Tess wire uh, that's yeah just nylon coated so I'll get this crimped up with my uh, brand new crimping tools. So I've crimped this fella on the bottom there I've got maybe a little under two meters of this wire trace so I'll crimp this hook on the bottom. There we go got that beautiful tenno circle hook crimped on there so now I'll just uh, get the float set up. Now, as you can see off that spare swivel that's hanging off here, I've just attached the uh, bit of pool noodle as a float. Don't mind my dog in the background. What are you doing, Maggie? What are you doing? No, you don't want to talk to me? Okay, fine. Um, so yeah, I've just got the bit of float hanging off. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, get out shark fishing tonight, hopefully. Going down for shark fish. It's like 7.20, I'm really late. Did I not turn the camera on? Hang on, let me go film this again. What I basically said was, I've got this big queenfish head that I caught a couple of days ago. It's very frozen though. So I don't think I'll be able to hook it in the nose without waiting like an hour for it to defrost. So I'm just going to go up in the top here. But I've still got to go dip it in the water for it to defrost. So, um, yeah, time to walk down to the water. Now for this hook up, I'm going to try go through this sort of soft bit <clears throat> at the top of his head. That should be good, shouldn't fall out, and I should get a decent hookup ratio. Maybe. I don't know, I just want to hook up to something tonight. I don't really care if I hook it well or what. Guys, I'm trying to put the light on, but I've literally been here for no more than 10 minutes, and the bait's taking up. Very, very slowly. So, oh, let me get Mum's phone out of the sand. Oh. Mother, I am very, very sorry. I'll turn that off. So, with the fact that that's moving incredibly slowly, it's either a massive shark or a very small shark. So, I'll let it sort of grab it a bit. 
let it run for a few minutes. Oh, there we go. It's just put it down, so it should be chewing. Yeah, it's on there chewing. Now, this is my only bait. So if this is a tiny shark, now I'm going to have to go home. Anyways, let's set the hooks. Yep, yeah, we're tight. Oh, it's not big. What's going on? Yeah, it's not big at all. Oh, well, time to sit here and whine for the next 20 minutes. Because that's like 200 metres out there. Very bad idea, but I'm leaving the reel in the salt water while I run up as fast as I can to grab my flies. Here's my shark. Yep, little lemon shark. It would be maybe a little over a metre long, 112. So let me just figure out how I hold this light. Oh no, my fly is a thief. All right, we got the shark out. Let's go. Oh, I'll go. Oh no, my lights went in the water. Um, hit the camera there. Hopefully, you guys can see this. But yeah, lemon shark. Oh, let's go release it. Grab the light, grab the camera. Everything's just gonna have to get wet here. I hope this guy put the light on my head, hang on towards their camera. Help this guy get out here. Oh, off he goes. Yep, he's fine. All right, let's go get my gear. <laughs> That's me for tonight. Cause that was the only shark bait that I had. Damn, I really cut my foot. There's three baits from that fish. The midsection, the tail, and the head. So, yeah, can't wait to get out. All right, we're back. We're going down to the beach that I have been night fishing at with the new combo that I've put at the uh, two meters of shark trace. Well, a little bit less than two meters, maybe 1.8 of shark trace on. I'll probably actually only like 1.5. Big eight of circle hook. I've got a big chunk or the middle piece of that uh, shovel nose. So yeah, we'll put the new combo up to a test. Uh, hopefully. But yeah, I've never shark fished in the day before. So I hope this goes alright. Now the tides today are pretty crap. It's actually a really weird tide. Um, I'll screenshot it and put it on the screen for you. Um, but it's gonna stay that high all day when it normally goes all the way up to the sand or all the way up to the um, grass and all the way out to um actually you would have seen how low the tide got in the gigantic school of bait there all the bait fish were like that big and they all just spooked and when i'm walking out shark bait that's not the not the most uh, comforting feeling knowing that there's a big predatory something over there anyways it's about waist deep here which is as much as I'd like to be going, but obviously I'm not out that far. So I think I'll have to walk a little bit further. No, I don't like this. And I don't want to cast the bait on my rod because it's really heavy bait and I think it might possibly snap the rod. So that's going to be very unfortunate if that happens. I won't cast it very far anyway. But... There we go, there's an extra few metres. Here we are. Hopefully we're not here for more than like two hours before this rod goes off. You have no idea how excited I am. This is my first fish on the Saragossa. I don't even think I've ever caught anything on this rod. Oh, actually, I won't change the drag now. Um. Oh, no! I just got busted off. Like full on, I think this is my shark trace gone. This, oh no, there's my bait. Oh my god, that was so cool. <laughs> that was actually awesome, bro. Hooked up to such a big fish there. <sighs> Alright, time to.
to make an Instagram story because I've been vlogging literally my entire day on Instagram. This bait, like obviously there's a little bit of a hole from the tension on the bait and the hook, but that shouldn't, like, let me see if that'll actually fall off because I'll hook it on again if it, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so that was so much fun. The sar like that was a really heavy big fish and that's much heavier drag than I have on my overhead. And um, it was pulling a lot more and I've landed meter and a half sharks on that thing without them pulling a single click of drag. So I'm assuming that was over a meter and a half and the Saragossa just horsed it in, um, other than the few little runs that it had. So now I'm just gonna take this bait out there again as far as I can. God, that was so much fun hooking up when I was asleep. I felt the rod getting tugged out of my hand and I was just like, oh, no way. And then it just started screaming off after I put a bit of pressure on it. That was so cool. All right, let's get this out. All right, now this is a very heavy bait, so obviously I won't be able to cast it too far. Um, I will cast it a little bit though, just so I can get that extra bit of distance. Ideally without snapping the rod. Yeah, that probably went out maybe 15, 16 meters. So, time to get back in. All right, we're back. Um, so, lay down on my bag as a pillow, set the podcast back up, and sit here with the drag off and this rod in my hand. Oh, wow. Oh, I had that drag so tight and that shark was peeling it, bro. Um, so yeah, I'll turn this drag all the way off Ugh. and now we wait again all right everybody I've just hooked up uh, about two minutes ago and I've been fighting it for um, yeah about that long it's a decent fish and I didn't have the camera on because I was carried away talking to the Instagram live did that just get off the second I put the camera on that happens every time <sighs> That was a good fish too, man. That pulled so much drag at the start. That's so annoying that I lost that. Um, anybody who was watching the live today, this video will probably come out like two weeks after, but yeah, anyone who was watching the live, sorry that it just went out. My uh, phone overheated. Well, mum's phone overheated. I've gone out to a little bit over knee deep. Uh, I'll probably go out a tiny bit more and then launch out this bait. <sighs> so heartbreaking I lost that fish. So depending on how far I can cast this without my rod snapping would be ideal. Yeah, another 10 meters. All right, so that's like 70 meters from shore. Still not that deep, but don't worry, the big sharks come in shallow quite often. Cut my foot for the second time in the past two days. Damn it. The play live has just disconnected again because the phone overheated. It, uh, I did get two bites though while I was on. Um, they didn't pick it up enough for me to turn on the camera. But yeah, two very big hits. Um, very annoying about the live. Because it's like very, very hot. Oh! Why don't I just sit there? That looks much better. Just here trying to set up the uh, live again. And this has just pulled two clicks of drag. Oh, probably three. So, there's something playing with it. Just trying to set up the uh, live again. I don't know if the camera can see the phone screen, but if you can, you'll be able to see that I'm actually right before pressing the button to going live. And I was hooked, I had a run, so that should hold. Hitting bombers and all. Live, go, all right. Been fishing for another hour or so after my last uh, talking to the GoPro session. Um, I've had a few hits again on the live. Uh, but nothing has grabbed it properly. Just searching for my bait right now to send it out again. Oh, there it is. Sending out the same bait as before. Um, I don't know if you can see, but even at this tree, it's only like halfway to knee deep. So um, I'm gonna have to walk this out really, really far. Alrighty, so I'm really far away now and it's really not getting any deeper. So I think I'm just gonna cast this bait out here. That'd easily be 100 meters from shore, maybe a little bit more, like 120. I was just live for like five hours. Um, and sadly, the phone is out of battery. So for anybody who was on the live stream today, thank you for watching.
bite, just got a bite. It was a good hit too, it pulled a little bit of drag. I think he felt the bit of tension though, because it's not on there anymore. Yeah, definitely felt the tension. Oh, he's on there, he's on there. Yeah, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's flying off with that. Let me get down here so I'm not get risking getting stuck in the trees. Time for a hook set. Oh, sh that's massive. Ah! I'm gonna have to try and tighten this as I go because that's not gonna work otherwise. Oh, that's a big fish today. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that drag's so tight, I can't even pull that. Oh, there it is out there, bro. No way. I'm trying to keep the tension on this because I think that's how I lost the last one. I'm just going to make sure the camera's recording. The camera's on. Oh, this is such a nice fish, bro. I think. Went for that really good initial run, but now it's just coming straight at me. Um, wow, that was such a good initial run. Give me the first fish on the new setup. Oh, oh that's heavy. I've got nearly locked drag on this Saragossa too, which is 16 kilograms of drag, and it was pulling like that. Oh, that's so cool. It's getting pretty awfully close to that tree though, so I might have to go out there and, and just grab it. I'm keeping tension. I don't have it very tight though, so. I don't know how this will go. God, my arm's tired already because I've been, not only did I fish for the past five, oh, I think four hours, um, I was fighting a few fish throughout the stream that I've actually lost. God, I'm hoping this is a good shark. If anything over two meters, it'd make me so happy. I don't think it's that big though. There's the thumbnail for the video right there. This fish doesn't look any bigger than 1.6. Yeah, this definitely isn't gigantic. Rod tip up, in comes the fish. <laughs> Oh. Here it is, the little bull shark, I think. That was out here. Oh, it's really carrying on now. Get away from that rock, buddy. <laughs> Finally! Oh. oh, he is strong, bro. So strong. Yeah, I'm just gonna drag it. I don't wanna risk hurting the fish by dropping it, so I'm just gonna have to drag it in. Fish wouldn't be much bigger than one point, maybe 1.5 maybe. A little bit less, like 1.3. Very good fight on it. Oh, no way. All right, let's go. Very nice bull shark, it'll be 10 kilos. And it would be maybe 1.3 meters long. Oh, 1.2. Just time to get it swimming. I hope that it takes off. Which it isn't doing. It's starting to go. Yep. Off he goes. See you, Mr. Bullshark. Such a cool fish. <sighs>